Hi guys, Diana here, and I'm here with Riley. I'm just wearing her today because that's what works. Um, and I wanted to do a quick video because we have figured out her gas problem and we've gotten rid of it. Um, well, she still has gas. Pretty much all babies have gas, but we've gotten rid of her trapped wind. So basically, as a little bit of a backstory, when Riley, well, Riley's always had trapped wind um, pretty much her whole life. She's four months now. Um, so her short life, but um, she's always had trapped wind and it got really really bad probably somewhere around the two-month mark um, Was when she really started having a lot of pain associated with her trapped wind and that's just basically when You've got a lot of gas inside of you, but she couldn't release it. So, you know, she couldn't fart in layman's terms um, You know, she would push and push and push so hard that basically all the little bubbles would turn into one big gas bubble that would become stuck and just become very painful for her. So, I have a natural solution that's super simple, easy, um, as far as I know safe. Um, do your own research just to be sure. Um, but I just have been drinking fennel tea and um, I know some people will actually give the fennel tea to the babies. Um, I personally just don't feel comfortable giving her anything other than breast milk right now. So um, I drink it myself and I've been drinking it three to four times a day and I drink it throughout the day, not all in one go um, because I want it to constantly be in my milk supply for her. And pretty much, you know, after like the first day of drinking it, I noticed that her wind seemed to be better. And after the second day of drinking it, like, it seemed to be just completely, she never had trapped wind problems anymore. She does sometimes still push as if she's, like, got something stuck, but it's just more like, um, I don't know, very minor discomfort. She doesn't, like, cry out in pain anymore. She was actually getting to the point where when she would have um, a gas bubble stuck in her, she was shrieking, not crying, I mean shrieking, very high-pitched. And she would actually like, you know, turn red in the face and she would start crying so hard that she would actually hyperventilate and then she would basically end up, uh, you know, nursing as much as she could until she could like just basically until she cried herself so much that she was so exhausted that she would fall asleep nursing, um, which is heartbreaking. Um, it's really heartbreaking to see that. But of course, you know, as heartbreaking as it is for me, it was obviously a lot harder for her to deal with. Um, I think sometimes it's uh, when your baby's crying, it's really easy to forget that they're actually experiencing a lot of pain. Um, I mean, you are aware of it, but at the same time, like sometimes you're just going so nuts yourself. Like you're like, oh my God, stop crying, stop crying. You know, you got to remind yourself that your baby's crying because it either needs something um, or it's got some kind of discomfort in its life that needs to be addressed. Um, yeah, so it's the easiest solution. I don't, you know, I've, I'd spent two months letting her really suffer. Um, I say letting her, it's not like, you know, I was trying, but like massage wasn't helping her. Um, I didn't feel comfortable giving her gripe water because in England, um, all the brands that are available um, that I've come across have ingredients in them that I don't feel comfortable giving her personally. Um, also, gripe water isn't, um, well, it's about as good of a solution as this is because I have to consistently drink the fennel tea, but I know people who give gripe water to their babies for wind have a tendency to need to give it to them often. Um, so I'm not judging it because I do think gripe water can be natural, I don't know, but it's, I've not, the ones here have like weird like preservative type ingredients and stuff that I just wasn't personally comfortable with, um, you know but we each make our own decisions and that's fine. But yeah, the fennel, drinking fennel tea for me, like me drinking it and letting it pass through my milk, that's something I felt completely safe. Um, I didn't, you know, see any negatives associated with it. And, you know, it has like a pleasant kind of a sweet flavor that's, um, you know, if you've ever had a fennel bulb, it's kind of similar to that because fennel seed. And, well, I think it's the same plant, I'm assuming. Um, and then there's also, you know, it has like the same flavor as like aniseed or, um, like black licorice as well, but a lighter flavor than black licorice because it's just a tea. Um, but yeah, that's the, it's just a light, sweet flavor. 
um, just when you're buying the tea, um, the only thing I would suggest checking for is that on the ingredients list that it's just 100% fennel. Um, I don't think it would hurt if it had other ingredients in it, but I would recommend 100% fennel just because if you're drinking it for its benefits, you would want as much of it in there as possible. Um, yeah, so drink your fennel tea and hopefully it will help your gassy baby as well. Bye guys, have a good day.